What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I bought this broken Lynx, well it's an Atari Lynx system and I think it was made in 1989 or um, 1990, not sure, but it's not working and I bought it broken for this much, I'll post it on the screen somewhere so you guys can know what's going on. Uh, when I got it out of the box, it's missing a power port, which is not good because this thing I heard eats up some batteries. I had this when I was a kid. My first handheld game system I had was a, a Game Boy, black and white Game Boy, which my son and I fixed right here and it has no backlight. So it's really hard to see. You, you can't use it at night at all. You have to use it during the daylight or with some light, but it works good. All right. And we actually uh, purchased this through AliExpress. I don't know if eBay has this, but uh, it's 61 games in one, but it's original Game Boy games and also Game Boy Color games. And there's 61 of them in one game, which is really cool. So that makes this a little bit more useful. I don't have to keep on swapping out games. I don't have to carry the games. I could just bring this with me and that's all I need. It takes four AA batteries and the batteries last a long time because there's no backlight. This one, this one eats up some batteries. It takes, I think, six AA batteries, and they go, I, mean, I think they last like three or four hours because the backlight just really eats them up real quick. And this thing is just bulky, heavier, bigger. You can see the size difference. A lot bigger. You could barely fit this in your pocket. This, you can't fit in any pocket. Maybe Shaq O'Neal's pocket, but that's about it. But we're gonna go ahead and work on this right now. I'm gonna put some batteries in. Let's make sure the batteries are good. All right, so this one's a good battery. And this is good. And this one's good. This one is red. Let's recharge, recharge and recharge. So I'll be right back and I get three more batteries. So it looks like they go in one direction. Right here. There we go. Oh. There we go. Okay, let's turn it on. Nothing. It's completely dead. Well, I think I think the first generation links, you have to put a game cartridge in. I think it goes this way. Either it goes this way or the other way. I forget. Nothing. Let's try the other way. Oh, it makes sense to go the other way. Yep, it definitely goes the other way because look. This is like a handle to pull it out. See? That makes more sense. Nothing. It's completely dead. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and try to get power to this unit. Look at the size of these screws. It's, this is like a Nintendo screw. Right here. And this is the Atari screw. This is made in California. Sunnyvale, California. It's missing a screw right here. Someone opened it. Let's take out the game. All right. Let's go ahead and open it up and see if there's any wires attached. Anytime you open up uh, handheld system always open it up slow you never know what kind of wires are attached yeah someone open you see look this was worked on and there's battery acid here and a little bit right there so I could clean that up and see if that helps
use some electronic cleaner. I wonder if that was enough to turn it on, let's say. Okay, <laughs> that came off fairly easy. That just popped off on its own. Oh, I heard something. I heard um, a speaker. Let me spray inside of here too. This way, keep on forgetting. And then I'm just gonna push it in a couple of times and try to clear that dust out or debris and see if that helps. Now I have to wait for it to dry though. This, and turn it on. Oh, look what we, we got, a screen. And, oh wait, we have a picture and it's really faded. And I adjust the screen, oh, it went out. Oh no, it's back on. Holy crap, we got it working. And the volume works too. And the screen looks a little weird. Ah, oh, I just popped all out. Holy crap, I got it working. But the screen doesn't look right. It looks really washed out. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a better picture. I'm gonna get, so only thing I did is uh, use electronic cleaner, cleaned out the game slot and cleaned out the battery acid, which is very common for an old unit. So those are the two things that you could do. There we go. That looks pretty good. And I was surprised I got it working. I'm not getting nothing on this one. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna change out all these capacitors. Oh. This cost me about 10 bucks, or 15, 10 or 15 bucks. I'll leave a link in the video description below. If you're interested in these capacitors, I got them on Amazon.
Okay, turn it on. Nothing. Oh, good, it's working. Now, if you're interested in getting a case full of capacitors just like these, I'll leave a link in the video description below. So I replaced all these capacitors right here. That's all of them. And finally, the Lynx is working. And this Atari Lynx is around 30 years old. We got it up and running. It looks awesome. My nostalgia is definitely kicking in. The screen isn't as great as the new handheld games like the PS Vita and the Nintendo Switch of course but this was pretty decent back in the day guys if you found this video informative don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and of course share this video to anyone that's into retro gaming or repairs Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest videos.